Up to this point, we've been working with the actual content of a type form. And while that's really important, one of the other reasons you want to use type form is because of your ability to control the design, the way it looks to people, because that can have a big influence on whether people actually click through it, whether they continue with it. And so design matters. And we're going to begin with the simplest element of design here in type form, and that's colors. I'm going to open up a type form that's building on the piping one. So I'm just going to click that open. And again, you can use any type form at all. I'm just following through with my own. This is the same one that I had before. Now let's take a quick look at what it already looks like. This is the default coloring. And truthfully, it's pretty close to what I use for my own website. Anyhow, it's got a solid white background, it's got these blue green buttons it has got a dark gray. And so that all works fine. But I'm going to close that window. And let's come up here to the second tab, which we haven't touched yet. And that's design. Click on that. And now you see we have three options on the side, we have colors, we have fonts, we have background images. And then at the bottom, we have themes, we're going to talk about each of those in separate sections. Let's begin with colors. Just click up here. And we have four things here that we can change the color on. One is the color of the question that for instance, is this color right here. The second one is the button, there's that blue grain, the answer that says press enter. Right there, that's the answer. And then the background color for the entire thing. And right now it's a bright white. Now you can change each of these separately, but you also have the option of using palettes. I'm going to come up here to palettes. Remember, that's like a thing that an artist holds their paint on. And you can click on any one of those and they show you the background color, the question, the answer and the button colors. And so it's a really quick and easy way to try a lot of different combinations. And you can tell that these give different impressions, they have different feelings, even though the content itself is identical. So there's a lot of different choices. You can pick one of these, and then you can modify it or you can start from scratch, either one works. I'm going to revert back to where we were previously, because that's pretty close to what I want anyhow, and come back to custom. I'm going to go and modify these colors one at a time. But I do want to show you one thing if you don't have much experience in design, then choosing color palettes can be a kind of tricky thing. And I want you to be aware of one really wonderful resource for this. And it's a website put together by Adobe, the people who make Photoshop and Illustrator. And it's called color.adobe.com. Let's take a look at it. So this is color.adobe.com. And it's a free service. If you have an Adobe account, you can sign in or you can sign in anyhow. And what it allows you to do is look at different color combinations. Now you've got your big color wheel up here. And then you have a palette of five different colors that's going to show up here. This one in here is sort of the base color. This is the one you're starting with. And this actually is data lab red because I've used it previously. And you have the color swatch and then you have some of the information about how those colors are assembled. This is the red, the green, the blue, and this is the alpha, the transparency. Here you have the RGB codes. So you know that this one is 204 on red, zero on green, zero on blue, and the same information written as a hex code, a hexadecimal code. What you can do is once you have your base color here in the middle is you can actually choose different color schemes. So there's analogous, and there's a triad, which tends to be kind of jolting. Complementary is not so bad compound gets a little funky and different shades of the same thing. So these are ways that you can pick things in terms of the relationship, especially between the colored elements like the button and maybe some of the questions in type form. Now I'm going to go back to type form. And I'm going to modify some of the colors here. The question, that's the text over here, a uh, color that I generally use on my own website is a dark gray, it's very close to the one here, I just do six threes. And there is my dark gray. If I made it a different color entirely, let's, uh, you know, let's go to seven, six, five, two, oh, one. And then green. Now you see how it's all in that green over here. That's not what I wanted. So I'll go back to the threes. 
The button is this sort of teal color. Well, for my own company, I actually have a specific color. It's, uh, again, Data Lab Red and hexadecimal, that's CC, one, two, three, four zeros. And now you see that in red. The answer I would like to do in the same color as the question. So I'm going to change that to one, two, three, four, five, six, threes. And then the background. Now, you can make a very good argument for doing a slightly darker background color. You know, you could drag it down here a little bit and see what it's like. And that actually is a pleasing, it's a nice look. You see, you can drive it all around here and try different colors live. I'm going to take it back up to the top left corner. But because on my website in my presentations, I use the solid white FF, FF, FF hex code as the background, I'm going to keep that here as well. But you can change it to what works best for you. Now, when you're done choosing your colors, whether you used a palette or you did custom colors, just make sure to come over here and click apply to type form. That takes just a moment. And when it's ready, you can come up to view my type form and see how your new color scheme looks. Now, mine's very similar to what it was before, except the button color is different. And you can see how that shows as we go through the rest of this. It changes both this button here in the middle and it changes the colors of these down here. And so it can give a more cohesive appearance, something more in line with the rest of the design elements that you might be working with.